How's it going guys? Chris Calder here and this is part 3B of my Rapid Composer tutorial series. Uh, this is basically more about the idea tool uh, which goes along with our revised manual. Uh, there's a chapter on the idea tool so this is uh, basically a two-part video. started out as one part so I'm gonna be going deeper into the idea tool in this video so good stuff. Um, let's set our BPM to I don't know 95 I guess. Whoops. Uh, scale, we're going to do U specific. We're going to make everything in D major, I guess. Uh, progression, we'll do select any randomly. Uh, track one, we're going to make it, um, you know, using piano, and we're going to use a phrase, you know, we're going to use the same one I used in my uh, variations video. Uh, it's basically chord ballad two. And we're going to add a track. We're going to make this the bass track so we're gonna do just the default bass generator pretty much um, we're gonna add another track we're gonna make this I don't know we'll fill it with melody generator I guess and so right now track one we have chord ballad track two bass track three melody generator now this is just a very basic way to use the idea tool we're gonna generate eight bars so after you set your tracks, you're going to set the instrument for each of them. So we got piano using the chord ballad phrase. We're going to use the bass sound font for the uh, bass generator phrase. And for the melody generator, we're going to use uh, the clarinet. All you got to do is hit shift G. It's going to bring you into composition view so you could edit and listen to what it created. So let's check it out. So after we set our instruments, I actually forgot to do uh, progression, select any for scale. So if you, if you use a specific scale or key, definitely use select any for scale, because otherwise the composition will, will be kind of, kind of dissonant and kind of gross. So let's do uh, shift G. That's going to bring us into composition, and we can edit and listen to it. So here we go. I know how cheesy that sounds, whatever. We're not trying to win any awards. So that's b the basic way to use the idea tool. Now for each track, I only have one phrase, okay? You can use any number of phrases that you want, which is really cool. I'm gonna add some different phrases to the composition. I'm gonna add, I don't know, sample 11, sample four, uh, I don't know, sample 10. And then for the bass line, for the bass generator, uh, I'm just gonna use my custom bass lines that I made a while back and and what else for the melody generator I'm gonna create different types of melody generators so I'm just dragging them in or you can just just do add selection and if you right click these you can set the parameters so we'll make this subdivision make it a more complex melody we'll make this one a triplet shuffle melody generator and then we'll do I don't know generic rhythm make it more dense okay so again on track three we have three different melody generator types and they're all different using different rhythms subdivision triplet rhythm and generic rhythm and on track two we have basically five different bass generators and track one we have four different piano phrases and again we're in the key of D and 95 beats per minute I'm just gonna change it to 130 what the hell? And you know, use specific scale, D major, and then progression any for scale, just so all the chords fit the key of D. And I'm going to hit Shift G, and here it is. So we'll take a listen. Oops. One thing I forgot to do is, if you have more than one phrase in here, you got to increase the phrase slider. I forgot to do that. So. I'm just going to go to the maximum amount of phrases to use and, you know, that whole thing. So basically, uh, you, we have three melody generators, phrases to use, eight different variations of them, you know, five different bass lines, eight variations, just the maximum stuff. So going back to the composition before I generate another one, you'll see that it's only using the same phrase. Sample 11 for piano, bass line 3, uh, melody generator, the triplet thing. Sounds cool, though, so let's take a listen to it uh, before we kill it. So we'll do 
do Shift G and to generate uh, a bunch of different variations of phrases and chords. So there we go, Shift G. We'll take a listen to this. I just generated a composition and, and sample 10 was in there and it was like, whoa, it's totally in the wrong key and everything. So we're going to generate another uh, composition without that phrase. Let's check it out. Another generation. Yeah, I apologize for the audio getting a little bit uh, clippy. Uh, I think it's just the way my computer's set. So, uh, as you can see, you know, the idea tool is pretty awesome. You know, you can get a lot of cool, interesting things done just by doing all that stuff. And if you want, you know, another way to use the idea tool is, you know, select automatically based on chord progression. And then progression, we're going to select from list. So we're just going to basically use all of these, you know, um, which are all the Roman numeral progressions. So we'll do Shift G and see what RC comes up with. generation. So, you know, the idea tool is not hard to use. You know, you just set your measures, you set your time signature, you set your tempo. Um, Again, this is how you use the uh, the stuff. So you could use use specific scale or select automatically based on chord progression. If you have it set to select automatically based on chord progression, you can use all these uh, custom chord progressions that we included for you. If you do use specific scale, you can select from list. You can use all the Roman numeral progressions, or you could do select any for scale. I wouldn't do select any randomly because again, that would create some dissonant stuff. You know, chords don't really fit. You always want to stick to the, you know, the scale that you're in or whatever. So we'll do G major now. And we'll do four bars. And maybe we'll add another track. We'll add like a finger picking generator, I guess. And then we will change the instrument to uh, the guitar sound font. So we can do shift G and see what it comes up with. weird but you know you never know what you're going to come up with this is the idea tool it's completely random you know set to your constraints good stuff you get the idea so basically the idea tool is not hard to use as i said before you pick your amount of tracks, you pick the phrases you want on each track, increase you know, the number of phrases to use. If you want variations, you could do that. So for instance, let's say we want, you know, we're using our phrases and we want to add some swing variations to them. So what I will do is open up the variations browser and increase the variation slider. Add swing, change it to eighth notes, increase it to about 50 or so. Uh, maybe we want some staccato variations here and there, you know. Um, maybe we want uh, phrases that are twice as, you know, double time pretty much. So we do double phrase. Maybe we want to do remove notes. Uh, I don't know, all longest notes. Maybe we want that variation. So now we're going to do Shift G again, and on track one, you're going to see, you're going to hear a lot of variations. So let's let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's solo track one and mute the other two. Or solo tracks one and two and mute the others.
very cool. As you can hear, the first two phrases had a uh, swing applied. This one had the staccato variation applied, and this one I think was double phrase. So we'll do it again. Oops. Duh. Forgot that every time you hit Shift G, it basically creates an entirely new composition. But we're going to tweak the idea tool later on so it doesn't automatically create a new composition. You could use it to create new parts, keep your tracks, and all that stuff. So that's coming in a future update. So just an FYI about that. It's going to be really exciting. So here's another generation. As you could hear, staccato, swing, double phrase. All right, here's another one. Going to mute these two. Cool. So you get the idea. You can really create some interesting stuff fast. This is the whole point of the program. So here's another generation. And here's yet another one. Oops. You get the idea, man. Idea tool, rapid composer, awesome stuff. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.